With most of them, the jaw is going to need to drop one bit. So here, I'm going to drop the ball by copying and pasting that part of the jaw. And that way he, his mouth will open as he talks. Um, he's got this huge jaw. Um, and so now I'm going to actually want to do that for the rest of these. Just like that. So now there's only two where his jaw is closed or up top. I'm actually probably going to need more than that. So now I got four where his jaw is closed and uh, like six where his jaw is open. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to give him a mouth. So that's the resting. Uh, that's what the rest will look like, just a dark line. Um, and now I'm going to make his etc. So then when he's closing his teeth, just like that. Actually, nah. You gotta kind of take a look at it and figure out kind of what you want. So that's the rest. That's with his teeth is closed. Uh, now I'm gonna make the W, the U, and the um, the W, the U, and the Q. Mm, I probably like the other version better. There we go, just like that. And uh, I'll save this one for later just in case I want to do something with that. Um, now I'm going to do the O and the A. That'll be the E, I guess. And I need an L, so. I'm gonna need a uh, pinkish color. That'll work. Oh, where was I doing that at? Right here. So there's the L. Nah, it would make more sense like that. There we go. And then that goofy little look, that'll be his smile. So I will keep that one as a smile. And then uh, these last two I'm going to get rid of because I don't think I have any more mouth that I'm going to need. So those are all the heads. Those are all the mouths. As you can see on this sprite, the eyes are way too small to have any uh, great eye expressions. So I'm not going to worry about any eyes. But I do like to have one where he's facing the camera um, just so that whenever he does head turns, it looks really good. So I'm going to look for a sprite where his head's facing the camera. And believe it or not, there's not a single sprite where he's facing the camera, which is pretty odd. So because there's not one where he's actually facing the camera, I'm going to look for one that is close, I guess. If there is one. Looks like that's the closest thing I got right there. Well, that's sad, because that's not a very good head at all. It's not that hard to make one, so I'm just going to use these two as, I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to use this as a base. Zoom in here. Uh, I'm going to try to, going off of this, try to use this as well. Oops, I think I accidentally grabbed this one. It needs to close this jaw. And then I'm going to rotate. No, no. Slip that over. Just like that. I don't know which one looks better. That one probably. Then I'm going to make this look like an A.
Now he's got an A on his head, but it's way too stretched out, so I'm going to have to close that down a little bit. Bring these a little closer. There's always a little bit of sprite work involved. I mean, I'm not that, I'm not a great sprite animator or anything, but you just got to get used to learning how to, to do, to do it, at least a little bit. And that really didn't have the look I'm wanting, so I'm gonna bring that in, like that. That looks a little more natural. It's still not the... If I close his mouth, he'll look a little... There we go. That's that's beginning to look pretty good. And now I just gotta do the outline. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything real great because it's just going to be like, it's just for when he looks at the camera real quickly. I mean, that's probably, I mean, that's not real great, but that's the best I'm going to get. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. And it's only going to be for a split second where he's facing the camera. So, so that's that face. So now I'm pretty good. I got all got all of the stuff I want, plus he's got a little smile in that one. Um, so I'm good to go with there. Now I'm going to need to start doing the arm.